All right, so we're gonna be start now. We're gonna move on. Again, I'm starting with small details. So we kind of laid in our first layer on the eyes. We're gonna move down now. And we're gonna lay in kind of our first layer in this mouth area, okay? And again, these are just small areas that are hard to do later on when you have all this wet oil paint all over the place. So that's where we're starting. Um, I'm gonna quick change my camera here so you guys can see my palette. Now I'm working on a paper plate because I'm at home and uh, it's not as big of a space as your guys' pans, um, but you'll be able to see the, the color really well. So one thing I think we struggle with, um, or you guys do a little bit, is when I look at your palettes, you guys have your piles of paint, but you guys then like, when you mix colors, like you scoop so much paint, and then like what happens is if you overpower, you can never actually create tones and colors that you wanna make, because it always is gonna have too much of something. So this is where, you know, what I like to do, and here's the kind of the pile I'm going with. So what we're gonna do first is we are gonna do the lips. Um, to create that, what I did was I grabbed some white. All right, and I'll do another little pile over here. And my brush is a little dirty, so it's already kind of working. But it's a little bit of white, all right? And again, you can see I'm just starting little piles, all right? You don't need to have these huge, giant mixing areas, all right? The smaller amount of paint you have, the easier you're gonna have to control this. So white, uh, you're gonna grab a little of that uh, tan color, all right? And I'm not sure, I think mine might be a little different because I use my oil paints at home. Um, but it's very similar to what we have at school. So uh, I mix that in, all right? It creates kind of this light khaki. And then basically with that brush, I'm just going to barely have any red. You can see I just barely touched it. I have almost none. Um, and because that is so strong, it's gonna overpower kind of what you guys do. So that's why I get real nervous when I see you guys just scooping huge amounts of paint. And then you wonder why you end up with this huge pile on your palette um, you're never going to use all that paint, right? You're just basically wasting and it's harder to control. So the more you guys can start working in little mixtures, you're going to have a lot easier time. So again, I matched it up pretty good. This is maybe a little bit more red. So maybe I just grab just a little bit more red to mix into it. Um, but again, these are going to be things we can always fix. You don't want to go too crazy unless they have the brightest red lipstick you've ever seen. But none of these people probably do. So again, I'm going to paint in kind of the lips. And this is kind of the advantage, you know, to work, if you want things to look real, it's nice to start with a good structure like our drawing. So that's why I kind of trace them for everybody. We don't have to worry about uh, proportions because they're already all drawn on there for you. So I'm kind of looking at my picture pretty closely. I'm also kind of making sure I'm not overdoing it. I don't want tons. And again, guys, I have not even dipped my brush, unless I'm gonna clean my brush. I have not dipped it in oil paint at all. All right, so I think that's another issue that a lot of you guys struggle with is you use way too much uh, paint thinner. Um, and it just thins out your paint so much and it just has no, you know, this you can't get that creamy um, blend mixture on there. So you need to kind of try to limit yourself to using the paint thinner. So I kind of painted on her lips. Now it looks kind of scary at this point, all right? But while that's on there, I'm gonna look very closely at my photo, all right? And most of you guys are gonna have, because it's a, a studio shot, they're gonna have some pretty good highlights on there. So again, I just grabbed some real, just normal white. She's got this big highlight on her lip, kind of right here, and it kind of fades up. So I'm just going to kind of place that in, try to match it up. And again, these are things that you're gonna to have to constantly come back and keep adding um, as the you know the week goes on to really make things look the way you want. But we, the more we can have things kind of set up for us and we can see where the highlights and shadows are gonna be, the easier it is at the end to do all the blending. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that little highlights. All right, and again, these are, it's not done by any means, but now I'm gonna look at maybe kind of making just a slightly darker red. So if I come back to my mixture here, I'm going to kind of grab that reddish brown and I'm going to mix that in a little bit and just create a little bit more of a brownish red, a little orange. And then when I come back up here, I can kind of hit these darker spots. So typically the corners of the mouth, 
Um, and again, everybody's picture is different. So you kind of have to really look at your photo. You have to look at what I'm doing, but you also have to kind of make sure you're watching your character um, so that you're, you're making the picture look the way it should. So darker brown, a little bit of like an orange in there. That's just gonna be, eventually I'll probably darken it even more, but for now, um, it's okay. Just gonna hit there. All right, so let's go ahead and kind of work on our lips a little bit. Just to recap, I started with just the plain color that I did a mixture of, um, kind of like a, a orangish skin tone, brought in more white so it blends out, so you have a highlight. And then also brought in a little bit of a darker orange so that it kind of hits those shadows. All right, we'll move on to the next step in a minute. All right, so we are about to move on to um, probably some of the hardest things to paint, and that's the teeth. And I like to get these out of the way early um, because that way we have something there. And eventually, you know, you're going to have, you're probably going to repaint your teeth three or four times um, to get them right. They're just weird shapes. Everybody's are different. They're in your mouth, so they're white, but they're shadowed. Um, and they're just really, they're hard to capture. So these portraits are tough because everybody's smiling. Um, so if you were lucky enough to get somebody who didn't show their teeth, you're going to have a little bit easier time. But, um, as far as mixing, all right, so teeth, uh, again, I like to kind of start with just, just like the eyeball, I'm going to start kind of with the pure white, um, paint and I'm going to come on up to my teeth and basically I'm going to ignore, if I drew lines in there. I'm basically gonna ignore those for now, all right? And I'm just going to fill in everywhere that I know there's teeth. Now, back in that gap, if I look at my picture, that actually gets really dark. So I'm going to leave that. But everywhere else that I know her teeth kind of appear, I'm going to fill in with white. And again, my, my paint has a little bit of that skin tone left on it. I have not used paint thinner, and that's okay. It's okay that they're not perfectly white. All right, teeth shouldn't be blaring white in a picture or they're gonna stand out way too much. So it's okay that they have a little bit of tan. Um, typically what I like to do is I like to clean off my brush, which I'm doing right now. And what I'll do is I'll just barely touch the yellow, just barely and kind of, you know, just grabbed a little and then I'm just kind of rubbing it off here um, so I don't have a lot. And what I'll do is kind of on that white paint, I'm just gonna lightly give these, I know that you know you don't want yellow teeth, um, but again, we're building up color, all right, guys? So if we just left it plain white, it would look ridiculous. Um, and I know her teeth aren't yellow, but there's a process to this, okay? So what I'd like you to do is put in that white. If you still had a little tan on there, that's fine. Um, but then barely, I mean, you can see, if I'm not globbing on yellow at all, guys. It's literally just, a little amount and I'm just filling it in a little bit. Now, once I hit that stage, what I do is I really make sure I clean my brush off. So I'm dipping it in paint thinner. All right, I'm cleaning it off a little bit. Now I'm scraping out my paper towel. Brush is clean. I'm gonna grab just plain white one last time. And luckily enough, I can still see my lines a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is try to just put plain white everywhere where I think there's like a little tooth and it's not going to be perfect and again it's okay if they kind of don't work out you can always just white it out and kind of work at it a little bit later but like I said there's a process to this we want to make sure we have paint in these spot in these spots so that it's easier to work on later all right so I kind of came in and just hitting some of these spots with just plain white all right and so now she kind of is starting to have teeth and then last, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab that dark brown and I'm gonna mix it with just a little bit of Payne's Gray so it makes like a black almost. Again, we're not gonna use a lot of black on this just like we did earlier this year, but I'm gonna look at those corners and I want to fill those in with a dark color. So I mix the dark brown with a little bit of Payne's Gray and it makes just a nicer, it's not pure black, but it's not, um, too soft either and basically then I'm going to come in and just right underneath her teeth it gets a little dark sorry I wasn't holding the camera right but you can see I'm kind of just going in there and for now that's all we're going to do to the mouth all right so I'll give you guys a few minutes I'll walk around and we'll check in on how you guys finished up on your mouth 